Hi guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Alright, in today's class, I'll be talking about how you can use your calculator for cheats and to solve questions on many topics in this MTH101 course outline. Alright, so in this video, I'll be using my FX991EX calculator. So in my next video, I'll be talking about the FX991EX calculator. Alright, so today I'll start with indices. Now, if you want to solve indices question with your calculator, you don't need any extra cheats. Alright, you don't need any extra cheats. All you just need to do is to input your values directly. So let's say I want to do um, a question like this. So let's say I want to do a question like um, 81. So I have this question here to be 81. All right, let's see the question very well. So we have a question here now. So we have 81 raised to the power of minus 1 over 4 multiplied by 1, 0, 2, 4 raised to the power 1 over 10. So how will you do that? So you first start with 81. So click on your 81. So after writing 81, then you use this power button. This power button here. So power button. Now you can see that your fraction is, I mean your power is in form of a fraction. So you click on this division, this um, quotient form. So you click on this. Can you see that now? So this is what I click on. Then minus 1. Then you use the down button. Then 4. Then you use your side button until it comes to the level of 81. When you see it at the level of 81, then you click on multiplication. Then 1, 0, 2, 4. Raised to the power. You can see that it's in quotient form also. So you click on this quotient box also. Then 1. Then down button 10. So you can see the answer is 2 over 3. And you can see that that is also the answer you are going to have when you solve this also. Alright. So let's see another question. So let's see I have this question now. 256 over 81. So how will you solve this? So first use your quotient. You can see your quotient here. So don't forget the quotient. So when you click on the quotient, then... You can see that this one uh, it's all over one raised to the power four. So I have to put box first, then the quotient, then two five six, two five six, then down button eighty one, eighty one, then close the bracket back. You can see you've closed the bracket now. So you use the power, so you use the power button, so the power, then quotient then 1 over 4 1 over 4 so you can see the answer here to be 4 over 3 all right so let's do this the last one under indices so we have 8 8 raised to the power of 1 over 2 you can see 1 over 2 can you see what i'm doing 1 over 2 then up to the down level, multiplication sign, then 2. Alright, you can see the answer right here. Alright, so that is how you can do your indices. You don't need any extra cheats on that. Just input your values directly and you get your answer. Alright, so let's go to sort now. The other one you can use your calculator for is sort. Alright. So on that sword, we are going to be solving some simple examples first before we go to the complex one. So under this sword also, you don't need any extra cheats. All right. So let's say you have a question like um, root t. I mean, let's say you have let's say you have a question like two root eight. So let's say you have a question like two. 2 root 8 plus 5 root 2. Automatically, yeah, I know that my answer will become 2 root, because this is 4 times 2, plus 5 
root 2 and that will become 2 that will become 4 root 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 root 2 plus 5 root 2 and that will become 9 root 2 so if you solve this directly with your calculator you should get 9 root 2 also so let's see that so just click on 2 so click on your 2 you can see then square root so this is the symbol for square root can you see that here so square root of what? 8 8 then click the button here the side button so that the the um the pointer will come outside the root so when you click this it's outside already then plus 5 root 2 then equals to you can see your answer to be what 9 root 2 do you see that now all right so let's see a question let's say you have you have a question like um 3 over root 2 you know when you rationalize this now you have 3 root 2 over 2 you can see that if you put it on your calculator you are going to have 3 root 2 over 2 so that will be um 3 so we have you can see that now this one is in quotient from all over form so you press this first then 3 then click on 3 divided by what square root of what 2 and you press equals you can see answer to be 3 root 2 over 2 all right so let's see this question now look at this we have 2 root 5 plus 5 root 2 all over 2 root 5 minus 5 root 2 so how will you do that very very simple just impute your quotient form first so impute your quotient form you can see your quotient here so when you click that then put the first which is what 2 root 5 so let's put 2 root 5 then what's the next one plus so you click on your plus oh sorry you can see that now so you click on side button so side button then the button command then plus 5 root 2 you can see i've been able to do the numerator then click the pointer till it comes to the denominator side so click the pointer till it comes to the denominator side you can see that now so it's on the denominator side now the denominator i have 2 root 5 minus 5 root 2 so let me do that 2 root 5 so don't forget put the pointer till it come outside minus 5 root 2 all right then click on your equal to you can see the final answer here which is the final answer here is minus 7 over 3 minus 2 root 10 over 3 can you see that now you can see that that's what the calculator is having for you so you can see this in your option or you see this in your option it is still the same thing you know when you do the, the um, numeric i mean when you do the lcm of this we have it about 3 minus 7 minus 2 root 10 so this calculator will not separate it for you you will have to do the separation by yourself all right so let's see one more example on that before we wrap up on um so so let's say i have um let's say i have a question like one over root five square root of five minus minus square root of two square root of two so the answer you can see the answer is root five plus root two over Theory. so that is how you can use a calculator for sort no extra cheats just direct all right okay so let's go to the next topic which you can use your calculator for the next topic you can use your calculator for is the quadratic equation so don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and always always share this video all right so now we are going to be solving quadratic equation with our calculator we are going to be solving quadratic equation with our calculator the first question i have here is 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals to 0 so i'm going to be solving this first then i'm going to be solving this other one which is 3x squared 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals to 0 then i'm going to be solving 
this other one which is x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals to 0 then um, let me solve this also which is um, 2x squared plus 16x minus 9 equals to 0 all right so these are the few questions i want to solve under quadratic equation now under quadratic equation the first thing you have to do you have to set your calculator so under this now you have to set your calculator and how do you set it first clear your calculator whenever you want to do any of these cheats that involve setting your calculator the first thing you need to do is to clear your calculator and how will you clear your calculator by pressing shift and nine so you can see set up memory all so you click on number three which is for reset all yes so you click on equals to and you click on equals to again so you have been able to reset your calculator successfully all right then after that we can now set our calculator to quadratic equation so just click on mode you can see your mode you can see that you have COMP, then you have complex, then you have statistics, then you have base, number base, then you have equation, matrix, table, vector. So for now, we are dealing with equation, which is number five, EQN. So when you click on number five, you can see now that I have AXN, BNY equals to CN. And we all know that your quadratic equation is in the form AX squared plus bx plus c equals to zero so you can see that and in your number three so you just click on what number three you can see now that you have a b and c now what does this mean you can see from here my a here is two my b here is what seven my c is what minus four whenever you have minus you have to impute minus there right so let's go to the first one which is what 2s squared plus 7x minus 4 so that will be what 2 equals to can you see that now because my first thing is 2 then the second one is what 7 so then click on 7 equals to then the last one is what minus 4 then click on minus 4 equals to you can see that you have been able to impute all the values then you click on equals to again so it's telling you here that your x1 your x1 is what 1 over 2 so that means your x is equals what 1 over what 2 or your x is equal to so you click on equals to again minus 4 so or your x is equals what minus 4 and you can see that that is the answer that you will have when you solve it here yeah. you can see that now all right so let's go to the next one which is 3s squared so you can see when you press on on when you click on on it will not clear can you see now so if you click on ac you still have it in your quadratic mode it won't leave that mode all right it will still be on quadratic mode so it will help you to solve several questions on quadratic directly all right so the next one is 3 because you have 3s squared so you click on 3 equals to then you click on 5 equals to because it is plus so i don't need to put those ones there's 5 equals to then 2 equals to all right then you click on equals to so this one is telling me that my x1 is what is minus 2 over 3 can you see that on your calculator here uh -huh. and then click on equals to again so your x2 your x2 is what minus 1 and you can see that that is the answer that we have here when we solve it quadratically can you see that now all right so let me do the third one so under this third one we have x squared now that means the coefficient of your x here is what one so you click on one equals to you can see here here now it is minus six not six so you click on minus six if you click on six you'll be getting a wrong answer so you have to put the minus there then the last one is what nine so the last thing is what nine equals to then you click equals to so the first answer is what x equals to what three so the first one is x equals to what three so yes so the first one is x equals to three so our x 
yeah let me we have our a to be one we have our b to be minus six and we have our c to be what nine and when you put that you will be having your answer to be what x equals to td x equals to t that is what it means you can see that you have only one answer here which is t so it means you are having your x to be t twice when you see that you don't have any answer it means your answer is twice all right okay so for this last one that we have here for today all right so we have um 2x squared so that will be so you click your ac back to come to this so the first the question of x squared is 2 so you click on 2 equals to then the next one is plus 16 so we have plus 16 so 16 equals to you can see that then the last one is minus 9 so minus 9 equals to equals to so your first value of x1 is 0 0.52 so 0 0.527 that's your x1 then your x2 your x2 will be minus 8.52 so that is what this is talking about so that these are the values so you can see those are the values of your x1 and x2 so you can always solve this quadratically anytime any day all right before i wrap up on quadratic equation let me solve this so this under this i have um the values to be x squared plus can you see that sorry so i have x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0 so let's put that on a calculator so click on you can see that it's 0, 0 back so the first one is um 1 you can see quotient of x squared is 1 equals to quotient of b is 5 equals to sorry and then you will like on then the quotient of c is two then you click on equals two so you can see the first value is 0 0.43 so minus 0 0.43 so you can see that that is what they have here minus 0 0.4 if you approximate it you still get 0 0.4 then the next one is what sorry this first one minus 0 point minus 0 0.43 then the second one is what minus 4.56 you can see that you can see it correlates all right so that's all under quadratic equation are we getting what i'm saying all right so let's go to the next topic which we can use a calculator for yeah that is um algebra you know algebra is quite simple so it is just like the same thing you have been doing in secondary school but i won't spend time on that it is quite simple compared to other things we have here all right so let's go to um let's go to complex number let's do complex number complex number all right so let's do complex number and see how we can use a calculator to solve questions on that so for complex number now you can see that your calculator is t on quadratic so what do you have to do you have to clear it from quadratic so how do you clear that shift 9 td td equals to equals to can you see that now so you have been able to clear your calculator successfully now you are under complex number and under complex number you should know that you are going to be using something in complex number which is called i and that is what you can see here under this english you can see eng eng i call it english you can see this eng you can see i on top of it all right so how will you get the i out you have to set your calculator into complex number you have to set your calculator into complex number and how will you set your calculator into complex number very very simple that will be so click on mode 
after clicking on more then click on number two you can see number two complex so number two complex so you have able to activate complex number that way all right so let's see some let's see some questions under this let's see some questions under this so look at the first one we have here we have td so we have this question td open bracket i mean open bracket three plus i multiply by four minus two i this is two i the one right here so this is two i so how we have put out on my calculator just put it directly just put it directly since you have set your calculator to complex number so just put it directly the first one is what open bracket so open the bracket 3 plus i so 3 plus i you can see your i under this ing eng eng can you see so when i click on this eng now it brings i can you see that now then close the bracket back open another bracket for the second which is 4 minus 2 i so 4 minus 2 so you click on your english again eng you can see that then close bracket then click on equals to so you can see your final answer is what 14 minus what 2i can you see that now so you save your distress so let, let, let me do the second one under this so we have 2i open bracket 1 minus 3i plus 3 open bracket 4 minus i so let's do that so that will be 2i 2 then click on english then i you can see that then open the bracket 1 minus 3i so 1 minus 3i close the bracket plus 3 plus 3 open the bracket 4 minus i can you see that close the bracket so everything is set now then click on equals to so that's 18 minus i can you see that now so it helps you right so let me do one on the under division so let's say i want to do this one 3 minus 4i over 5 plus 2i so how will you do that whenever you see anything like this whenever you see anything in this form just know that this is the first thing you're going to be pressing all right so when you press that it comes out then i have 3 plus 4i so 3 i mean 3 minus 4i 3 minus 4i how do you get your i don't forget that to get your i is what english and down button then 5 plus 2i 5 plus 2i then click on equals to so you can see the answer is what 7 over 29 minus 26i over 29 you can see that that is what the calculator is also having all right so now let me do the next one which is for modulus so for you to get your modulus to get your modulus is very very simple i'll be doing the two together to get modulus and to get arguments so to get when you when you are asked to find modulus and argument how will you do that very very simple so now you know you have set your calculator to complex number already so you want to go and put it you know the ones we have been doing now the ones we answer we have been getting have always been in the form of complex number which is what a plus i b so you can see that the answers you have been getting are in form of a plus something i a plus something i but now I want to set it to argument and modulus how will you do that so click on shift mode when you click on shift and mode you can see all the stuff you have here then click on the down button can see number three complex so when you click on number three if you ask you do you still want to leave your answer in form of a plus bi or you want it to be in form of modulus and argument your r here means modulus your theta here means argument so don't forget how i got that shift and mode so shift mode you can see then down sorry shift and mode then down button number three so don't forget then click on number two because you want to deal with modulus and argument so the first number you'll be having on the first side will be modulus the second will be the word be argument you get that now all right so that's number two all right so now let's click let's put in this question 
So we want to find the modulus of 3, 3 plus, I mean 3 minus 4i. So we want to do 3 minus 4i. You can you can see that the mod, the answer for the modulus here is 5. You see that the answer I also get will be also 5. So that's 3 minus 4i equals to, you can see. So this is telling me that the modulus is what? 5. And the argument is what? Minus 53.13 degree. Do you get that now? All right. So look at this. Look at this question. So they said find. Look at this question. They said find the modulus and argument of complex number this. So you can see the modulus they have here as their final answer is 1. And the argument the argument is 90 can you see that now the argument is 90 degrees so if i put that on my calculator i will also have 1 and 90 all right so let's do that with our calculator let's do that with our calculator so i have i have it in form of quotient so i first click on my quotient so i first click on my quotient this all right then 1 plus i so open bracket 1 plus i close the bracket open another bracket 2 plus i 2 plus i all right so close the brackets all over 3 minus i then click on the course so you can see your final answer. So it saves you a lot of stress of trying to solve and solve and solve and solve. All right. So that is just the simple answer that you've gotten over there. So let's do some question under this. Let's say I want to find the argument and um, the modulus and the argument of 4 minus i. So 4 minus i. So 4, 4 minus i. You can see the arguments. I mean, the modulus is what? Square root of 17. And the argument is what? Minus 14.03 degree. All right. So whenever you want to solve complex number, this is how you are going to do that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, and always, always share this video in my link i'll put on this um the the link to watch out this calculator for solving questions on circle measure both from conversion from radian to degree and degree to radian so don't forget this is colossal mathematics class where mathematics is being simplified don't forget to share the video to your friends and love wins thank you very much and do have a great day